Hello, YouTubers. Um, welcome back to Nasdaq channel. This is Johnny. Um, we are going to talk about uh, security practice again. Um, today, um, the topic is about the Simon Tactic Loss Prevention System. Um, so I did many times for the database DLPs uh, backup, um, but I still need to go through these documents. I'm using DLP 15.5. Um, it's a very nice guide. Um, to keep it in your handy place so you can read it whenever you need it. So today's main focus is backing up the database. Actually, it's backing up uh, Oracle database. Um, so you should be able to find out uh, based on your system, uh, you need to do a code backup Oracle database on Windows or on Linux. So my system is based on Windows. So this topic is going to be perfect for me from here. Um, keep this in mind. Oh, um, Simon Tech doesn't support it uh, hot or warm backup. It has to be code backup. But uh, it's a very complicated process. I'm recording this video to explain how those process looks like. Okay, let's start it. This is my system. I have um, Oracle system installed here, Oracle database stuff. This is for our DLP system. Uh, it's working fine at this moment. Um, so now we're going to start into do the backup. Based on a KB, we need to create a recovery aid files on Windows and put in the documents side by side with my RDP session. So in this way, we can browse, we can browse that web page documents and at the same time, um, we apply those steps to our system. So here is a uh, performing a code backup of Oracle database on Windows. Beware, here is the most important part. Simon Tech only provides support for a code backup procedure that that described here. Code backup, only support by Simon Tech. Don't get that wrong. So there's uh, six steps totally. Um, let's do one by one. So you should create a recovery aid file for use in recovery procedure. Create a backup directory. So we need to create a backup directory. Program Samtag DLP. files, we already created that. Tower 8, okay, we already have that. We'll go to command line. Can zoom to one hundred percent. Okay. Gonna, so there's lots of commands we need to type, but I'm going to copy paste. Okay. I need to change the username password here. Just give me one second. Okay, connect it. So it's a sys password. And we need to copy this thing into here. Notepad. We 
this is one line to make it wrong okay you can see control the file.trc has been changed a copy of control has been copied over Let's make sure we have right choice file. User dump destination. Okay, next command. This command is to back up IMIT dot OIA file. Okay, let's go back here. Paste. Should be able to see this has been created. Perfect. Then we can exit now. Going to name file. Hmm. Actually, you can find our data modified column to show you the like, exact data when you create it. So that's not necessary for these steps. Step one is finished. Now we step to collecting a list of files to be backed up. We need to do this again. You can use up and down key to get to the command you already typed in the command line or SQL command line to get it connected. You don't have to type the username password again. That's gonna be boring. So we get in here. Now we need to do select file name from DBA data file. We're going to continue recording here and uh, it's the same file name as before. Next step, creating a copy of SP file on Win. Say temp folder and then we're gonna copy that file over. Okay, you can copy back, 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 paste, get. Shut down this like DLP system on Windows. Okay. We're gonna stop all the service. Okay, we're gonna follow a step. Log into two, three, three, two, one, two, one, five. Uh, okay. Service. We're gonna stop all the service. There's an order to stop the service. Instant persistent service. There's four services. Stop.
and stop one by one. Okay, this has been done. Okay, we can go back to here, service. Up. Service name will be Oracle service. Oh. will be Oracle Service Database Name. Oracle Service Database Name. Stop. Okay, now we need to copy the database file to the backup location on Windows. So we need to make sure Oracle Service has stopped. So it's stopping. Recommend hospital will copy the file from list. You collect in the procedure to the computer that the hospital backs file. Copy the product. You need to copy the list file. So this is the list file. Copy everything over, make it easy. Copy, copy to here. Okay, on the computer that has a database, Oracle Home database, that will be Oracle Home. Let's see what is that? Here is all like home. Copy. Two. I need one hour and 45 minutes. But anyways, we can do. Here. Okay, that's almost everything we need to do. And uh, next step, we're gonna wait this to be completed and this, we're going to start the Oracle service, start the DLP service in order, and then verify the DLP upgrade. Everything is coming back online. That's going to be everything. So I'm going to pause the video until the copy finished. Okay, finally, 
all files has been backed up under the database folder. This is Symantec DLP backup file database folder. So you can see all files has been backed up. It's about uh, 33 gig, four 33 gig is about 130 gig total, 130.40. Um, all files state modified is today. Only seeing this last one because there's no change since March 8. So it keep the same date. So we finished our backup Oracle DB. Now what do we need to do restart in the system? We need to start the service on the Oracle database service. We need to start the last enforcement, the DLP enforcement services. Okay, let's start with uh, data, Oracle database service. Start. So it's Oracle service plus your database name. So our database name is protect. So we just start this service. It may take a couple of minutes. CPU is fine, memory is okay. All seems okay. Once this step is finished, okay, we can uh, go back to our enforcement server and start in those DLP service in order. Notifier service will be the first one. Second one, DLP manager, manager service. Instant persist service. The last one will be our DLP detections server control ser controller service. Okay, so everything already started. So let all steps we do code backup Oracle database on our Windows. That's the only support the way by Simon Tech only support array, which is code backup Simon Tech DLP Oracle database. Thank you for watching.